Hello students, how are you? Hope you are doing well. Now I am reading the question. A 10 cm long wire lies along the y axis. It carries a current of 1 ampere in positive y direction. A magnetic field B equals to 5 milli tesla J cap minus 8 milli tesla K cap exists in the region. The force on the wire is option A 0.8 milli newton I cap. Option B minus 0.8 milli newton I cap. Option C 80 milli newton I cap. And option D minus 80 milli newton I cap. So the problem is based on the concept of finding out the force when magnetic field is given and the length vector is given. So the formula for force which we have to use is the very familiar formula F equals to I L cross B. We have to use this particular formula. Now in this particular problem, the wire is placed along the y-axis. Suppose this is y-axis, this is x-axis and this is z-axis. So the wire is placed along the y-axis and the length of the wire is 10 centimeters which if we convert it into the meter is 10 divided by 100 meters which is equal to 0 0.1 meters. So this is the length of the wire and it is along the y-axis. It means that we have to write it in this manner 0 0.1 meters j cap. So this is our length vector. This is the length vector and D is given as 5 milli tesla j cap minus 8 milli tesla k cap. Now we have to use one more concept here to find out the vector cross product. Suppose we have two vectors A and B. For example, there is a vector A which is A1 i cap plus A2 j cap plus A3 k cap. And suppose there is another vector B which is B1 i cap plus B2 j cap plus B3 k cap. And uh, if we want to calculate the cross product of these two vectors, A cross B is equal to the determinant of i j k in the first row, then the second row consists of vector A coefficients that is A1, A2, A3 and the third row consists of the coefficients of i j k of vector B which is B1, B2, B3. So this is the cross product and we are familiar to find out the determinant how to find out the determinant? So I multiplied by A to B3, A to B3 minus A, A3B2, A3B2, then minus J, then A1B3, A1B3, and A3B1 minus A3B1, and then plus K, plus K, then A1B2 in bracket A1B2 minus A2B1, A2. B1. So we have to use this particular concept. We have to use this particular concept to solve this particular problem. Now let us apply this particular method to solve this. So L cross B. First of all, we have to calculate L cross B. So to calculate L cross B, we have I, J, K in the first row. Then in the second row, we have the coefficient of L. The coefficient of L, we have only the J component present. So that is why this is 0, this is 0 0.1 and then the K component is missing in L. So it is also 0. Then for the B, for B, I component is missing. So here is a 0. Then for the J component, it is 5 milli tesla, 5 milli tesla. And for the K component, it is minus 8 milli tesla. So we can clearly see that the J component and the K component for calculating this. For J, we have this multiplied by this minus this multiplied by this. So this becomes 0. For K component, this 0 multiplied by this minus this multiplied by this. So this becomes 0. So the only component which remains is corresponding to I. So for I, then we have to write it down as I in bracket we have 0 0.1 multiplied by minus 8 milli tesla 8 milli tesla and then minus 0 multiplied by 5 milli tesla which is equal to 0 
So the final results come up, result comes out to be minus 0 0.8 milli Newton pi cap because we have to multiply this by i also here i also and i is given as 1 ampere so 1 ampere multiplied by this value the answer comes out to be in millinewtons so minus 0 0.8 millinewton is the final answer so this is option b option b is correct here so minus 0 0.8 millinewton i cap is the final force experiencing experienced by this particular wire. So hope you understand this problem. Thank you.